We're trying Kevin's meals. Your buddy Kevin, he made us some food and we're gonna taste it. Who's Kevin? I didn't look into it yet. Couldn't tell ya. I'll do my research before I write the article. Right now, I only know, I mostly know Kevin's as the thing I see in Costco and go, huh, I wonder what that tastes like. Yeah, we've always wondered, we've all seen, seen them. I don't know what they are. I've been like, are they like diet meals? Are they what? It seems like the options are some, some fully completed meals like this guy which has food in it, so I can't turn it back oh, to you later. Okay. So some fully completed meals, and then like some things that are like just tubs of meat. Tubs of tubs sauce of meat. meat. Some of them you microwave, some of them you're supposed to defrost like 12 hours before you cook them. Oh no, is that true? Yeah. Whoops. Like maybe two of them. I would never expect that from a microwavable meal thing. Yes. Like, come on. But that's, I guess that's why we do this, to help you avoid our mistakes. Absolutely. So. So that's where we're at. Let's start with some plain meat. Let's start with plain meat. This is the teriyaki style chicken. It's paleo and it has soy free teriyaki sauce. Okay. No antibiotics, certified paleo, certified gluten-free, soy-free, 20 grams of protein. It's got a lot of big chunks of chicken that looks like actual chicken and a ton of sauce, which is, is good this for a, ricing. a meal? No, this okay. is not a meal. This is like, <laughs> You're not supposed to eat this as a meal, right? No, you gotta put rice under this, maybe a vegetable. This is just trying to make the meat part as like, easy. This is an interesting texture. Um, I did not expect it to be like that when I put my fork feeling. in it. It was like, it almost felt like my hand was numb. Mm -hmm. I was like, this isn't how that goes. The sauce is good. I think it's the sauce got, is fine. Like some heat to it. It's sweet and savory. Yeah. Also, it would Alex, definitely be good on rice. I'm so sorry. Can I have a Dr. Pepper? Yes. Thank you. I'm anticipating <laughs> needing <laughs> a I'm, real palate cleanser. I'm anticipating needing a real palate cleanser because this teriyaki has a lot of flavor. I think this is like fine. Yeah. It's real middle of the pack. It really, for me, if this was cheap, I'd be like, cool. If this was expensive, I'd be like, why? For me. Now, that being said, if you just have a tiny freezer and a microwave, maybe that's why. Yeah, I mean, I think if you're eating for, like, this is also not, this is also an interesting amount of meat. Very much so. Because serving size, Five, oh no, math. Come Ounces? On. No, three servings per container is what it says. Okay. So not really. I think I think tops. You're getting Thank you so two much servings out of this. Like you're not getting this for a family. You're getting this for you and somebody else. Maybe if you have a bunch of rice and other things along with it. Which fine, great. You're a couple. You're too busy to actually cook at home. This is fine. Yeah. I touched you, I'm you so sorry. You touched my breast. <laughs> just, just a <laughs> tiny, Very tiny tip my You tipped my breast. <laughs> Not Moving the first on. time. <laughs> um, I'll tip it again if you, um, <laughs> Okay, this is, this is beef. I know, I'm gonna eat the sauce. Okay. We're I, doing you guys, I've eaten some crazy stuff at work recently for GMM. It made me feel really wacko, and my stomach is not well. So I'm eating the sauce, I'm not eating the beef, I'm just not built for it. We're doing Mongolian style beef. This is my, Mongolian style beef oh. is my go-to at a, at a mm. like Chinese takeaway spot. Okay. Um, but here's the thing, my favorite thing about, about Mongolian beef is the onions. <laughs> sure, and there's not and there's a, not a one. Not in a this. one. It's just sauce and sloppy meat. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to <laughs> it like a noodle, and it's not working. <laughs> And once again, paleo, no hormones, antibiotic free, gluten free, soy free. I thought the sauce was good, and then I thought the sauce was bad. I think the sauce is fine. Again, it desperately needs rice. Um, it, yeah, it's, it's just like way too salty on its own. It needs some sort of base underneath to keep it. I think the meat is fine. I did get like a little bit of like a tough bit in it that I didn't love. Can but I say though? It's not bad. This says portion beef on a serving plates, cover with remaining sauce from skillet. So this doesn't say like put other serve things with, with it. Noodles, serve with rice, serve, you know what I mean? So it, and it is paleo, and rice and noodles aren't paleo. That's true. So I don't know if they're pitching noodles? to just have this as a meal. I don't know. It definitely needs something else because I feel like people in the comments could be like, "Well, duh, put it over rice." Right, but it's not telling you to do that. 
I think, yeah, it's just too salty on its own. It needs something bland-ish to soak it up, whether that is cauliflower, rice, or whatever, but it needs something. Okay. This is chimichurri beef. beef. We're jumping, we're jumping all over the place. Kevin's is global, if nothing. Yeah, if you're not familiar with chimichurri, it's like a garlicky, herby, olive oily, slightly spicy sauce. Limey. Limey? Chimichurri's not limey. It's got a lime right there, and this one tastes very limey. I don't like it. Well, this is what I'll say. I don't think it tastes like, well, maybe it's a different type of chimichurri. Yeah. I'm thinking of like a Spanish chimichurri. But maybe this is a different kind. I, whatever it is, I actually do like the sauce. I think it's like tart and tangy and cilantro-y and leans more South American. Uh, the beef I had was extremely tough though. I think if I got this, I would like this actually as a burrito filling. Oh. Like I would want to chop it up That's more really and smart. put it into like a burrito and that would be good. Yum. Um, I think on its own, yeah, that beef is just like a little bit too tough for me, but if you chop it up and like put it in something, I think that sauce like makes it pretty good. I like that, yeah. I think I was expecting the sauce to taste different. It's hard to do fresh, like that super fresh chimichurri with the yes. garlic and everything. Like it's hard to get that into a frozen. And I wasn't expecting lime. So when I taste that, I think it like put me off a little bit. But then once I ate it again, I was like, oh, this does taste just, good. Like, if, once you prepare your mind, yes. and you're like, oh, I know what we're doing. I just wasn't anticipating. Now we get into the real meals, I'm which like, is real food therapy. Thank you, God. I'm so sorry. Okay, okay. Kevin's, <laughs> of course, uh, savory chicken mushroom. It's this one's gluten free. Ugly. It's got zero added sugar. It's chicken raised without antibiotics. The rice is not. The bowl is compostable. Oh, that's fun. It's made from plant based fiber. It's got a savory mushroom sauce. It's got brown rice, carrots, mushrooms, and sous vide chicken. It doesn't look. Well, actually, it does kind of look like that. Hmm. This is the first thing I'm eating all day, too. Are you okay? I'm just really hungry. Oh, so, great. No, I think this is a good way to come into it. Oh, if I'm good. really hungry and I'm still... Yeah. I like the mushroom flavor a lot. I'm gonna say something, and the I need it to, so dry. to not be taken as bad. If Have you ever ha seen the like very high-end dog food? <laughs> that's like chicken and rice that and carrots. That you're like the like farmer or whatever, that you're like, yes. that actually looks kind of good. And you're like, I actually would eat that. Yeah. That's what this is giving to me. Yeah, for sure. Very Brown light in carrots. flavor, very savory. Super savory. I really do like the mushroom flavor. I really I wish the too. chicken was not as dry and overcooked as it is, but. Yeah, and I think the rice texture is good. I think so too. But I want, I'm, I'm left wanting for a little something else. I agree. I mean, I would put obviously like chili crisp or something on this and like a sure. fried egg or whatever, but. Um, but I'm like, we gotta yeah. look at these for just what they are. Do you no, know exactly. what I mean? You can't like, think about if it, I, I have to buy this and then I have to add three more things to it. I want more sauce. I would even. like more like, sauce. Like if it as was well. just slightly wetter. Maybe some peas. Sure. I'm kind of an advocate for green peas in general. Just I'm like, like a little pop of green. Toss some green peas into almost anything. It's they're like everywhere. They're practically free. It, it, just do it, you know? Yeah, I would not. Uh, I think, okay, one bowl, 310 calories, whatever. Um, yeah. I think that's, yeah, like, I think as far as a work lunch went, if I was like supplied with a bunch of these, or so, if I was just like, I'm, I just gotta bring something to work, yeah. I'd be like, this is fine, and I feel like pretty okay after having it. Yes. Like the sodium's not crazy out of this Certainly world. Certainly not bad. Like, yeah, I think it's as a frozen meal goes. I agree. Good. I agree, and high in protein. Um, okay, this is a Thai-style coconut chicken. Not really giving what the box is giving as to be expected. But you know what I'll say, the color is different. This is very yellow, this looks. Oh yeah, I, that is brown. I would think this is like a red yellow, curry. Yellow, red, yeah, if, this if, is green, 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 green. That's green. more like a green or yellow curry is what I would, you know, I and don't know. It has been oh, sitting for a second. Cauliflower and, rice, oh. not real rice. Okay. Paleo. <laughs> that's real rice though, we ate real rice. That was real rice, okay. yeah. Okay. The cauliflower rice has soaked up whatever curry was there. Mm, that's not bad. They're pretty good. Mm -hmm. That's a good green curry. Like, it's it's very coconutty. It does do a good job of covering up the cauliflower flavor in the rice, which I think is good. Like, if you want to pretend this is rice, 
I also must commend them. Chicken is still dry. Yeah. You get sometimes these cauliflower rice things. The rice is sopping wet. Mm hmm Just dripping with water. And this is actually on the dryer end. And it, this is not too too watery at all. Okay. Uh -huh. All right. I think that one's pretty good. It has a little bit of heat on it too. That's not bad. Their thing is that the chicken or the meats are sous vide, so, right? That's yeah, what the thing is. Yeah, but they should be moist should be maybe as more heck. soft. Yeah. Okay. All right, we got the chicken burrito bowl, tender chicken breast strips, chipotle chili sauce, cheese, bell pepper, and brown rice. So this one's not paleo. There's zero added sugar. They gave this two little peppers on the heat scale out of three. Okay. I don't think any of the others have peppers on them, so why not throw them on that one? What is that? Oh, that's chicken? Chicken. Okay. <laughs> it was You're like having a, a really hard love. time with the chicken. Chicken is not. You know, um, when you get like a Mexican rice peel off, mm -hmm. essentially in a box, mm -hmm. it kind of it tastes like that. I uh, like I the like chipotle that. sauce. I think it's, it's pretty good. It's screaming for beans. Absolutely. It's shrieking for beans. Very tangy. Gwyneth would hate it because there's a lot of peppers with skins on them. Yeah, and I'm. I'm I don't I'm, mind the skins. I'm with her on that. That being said, this is better skin-wise than a lot of the other things we've yeah. tried with bell peppers in them. Because it's not just skin, it's skin on pepper. Yeah. yeah. We need beans and we need corn in this. Oh, I like the idea of corn. It needs to have a little bit of like some other flavor, a little sweetness. Need something else in. And I will say, I do think this would be a good meal starter. To take this to work and top it with some sour cream, Greek yogurt, yeah. if you had some, you know, fresh romaine. Back in the little box. Anything, yeah, put it back in its house. Yeah, it needs, Something. Yeah. I would need. I would. I like the idea of just literally piling it with like chopped lettuce. Yeah. I would feel better. I think about it's a good. Ba I would good buy base. that as a base. Whereas yeah. like maybe the savory mushroom one, I wouldn't as much. Because also I'm like, what do you then put on top of that? You know, it's not as obvious as the. I'm putting an egg on everything. Sure. Um, Korean barbecue style chicken, gluten free. It's a soy free bulgogi style sauce paired with broccoli, carrots, and brown rice. Twenty one grams of protein. I forget that soy is a common allergy because I'm like, I know. Why is everybody hating on soy? It's an allergy. Just tamari, tamari, tamari. Okay. So they're all very flat meals. They really like they're hand very take them down. So much broccoli involved in these two. Huh. I don't get a lot of bulgogi flavor. No. It's sweet. I'm getting a very light. Very sweet. Very light, sweet kiss of a vaguely Asian flavor. Yeah, sweet vegetal. Dry chicken. The wire stuff chicken. Very dry chicken. No, that to me is a bit of a miss. It just doesn't yeah. have any thing but sweet going on with it. Yeah. Like, if you called it orange chicken even, I might be like, I understand what you're going for. I see. Korean? No, no. Yeah. You like her. No. Okay. <laughs> I'm just feeling generally no. kind of bad, so I'm just like interested. Oh, I'm so sorry. Okay. Well, speaking of, oh yeah, get the orange chicken. Are you okay? I'm okay. Okay. Um, I'll let's be try fine. the orange chicken. I'm so strong of mind and body. Guess how much? Wait, did I already tell you? Yeah, this? you did. <laughs> now you guess. Okay. In the comments. Guess in the comments how much I was leg pressing at the gym this week. It's more than you would think. It's really impressive. I'll it's tell you. Impressive. Maybe at the end of this video. Oh yeah, sure. Put it in now and then guess it and then see if you're right at the end. That's fun, right? I do. I like, like that. Like a game. Um, and then with me, <laughs> guess what I... Yeah. You've got it. Guess. Mm -hmm. Guess how many laps of butterfly I did yesterday. It's probably about as many as you think. <laughs> I didn't know you did that. Where'd you do that? Pool? Yeah. That's fun. Swim. <laughs> Sometimes I get where I'm like, you didn't tell me that. <laughs> um, why wasn't it in my calendar? Why didn't you tell me that? <laughs> why didn't you tell me you went swimming yesterday? Kind of crazy behavior. Um, That's weird, what's that flavor? I'm getting a citrus. Mm -hmm. But then what's that flavor underneath it? Is it like tarragon? What's that weird herb? Very dry chicken. I don't, it's, it is citrusy. I will give it that. It's citrusy. And then it's the same base of just julienned carrots and, and tops of broccoli and dry chicken and brown rice. And I'm, I'm bored with you already, Kevin. I think 
these frozen meal companies are getting a little too comfortable yeah. with Asian cuisine. Sorry, yeah. can I say that? I'm like, we gotta give more respect to some of these cultures, some of the greatest cuisines in the world. Also, I'm sorry, but like throw a water chestnut in there or something like Ooh, that. Like a, water a little chestnut. baby corn, do something. If you're gonna like lean into the classic, classic like American yeah. style of, of a stir fry, like do it. Well, and for those things too, I'm like, they're like zero calories. Yeah. A water chestnut and it's is nothing and but it's a cheap. thought. You know, like why not? But now we're jumping over to the boot and we're going to mm. get some beef bolognese. Abondanza. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Okay. I mean, it is bolognese. It's I got like carrots and stuff. It's a hearty pasta entree made with grass-fed ground beef cauliflower pasta. And an unforgettable Italian style tomato <laughs> sauce. That is a bold move. That is so I funny. I love that. I love calling a shot like that. It also could be good or bad. Okay. I don't think I've had cauliflower pasta like this before. I haven't either. Eat it and tell me what you think, and then I'll tell you what I think. Hold on. Mm -hmm. I think it disappears into your mouth like it never existed. Yeah, but I don't think it's bad. No, but it's not pasta. I don't know what it is. It, it looks like pasta, but it Would literally you know? disappears. Would you so know fast. if you didn't know? That it was pasta? That it was cauliflower. No, I wouldn't know it was cauliflower, but I would be like, what's wrong with this pasta? I see. I would it think literally it literally dissolves. I, I would think it was overcooked pasta. It's extremely overcooked pasta in that way. It don't have it don't have no flavor. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> but the the sauce is it unforgettable? It does taste like it tastes like a pretty classic bolognese. I, I, like it's tomatoey, it's beefy, it needs salt. It's very forgettable. Yeah, it's not. Why would you say that? Why would you set yourself up for it's failure like, like that? It's like calling a movie like the best movie ever made or something, and it's just like. Great, Ebert's gonna have a good time on this one, being yeah. like, ah, more like not the, you know. But it's also like such a f normal thing. Like, it, I would say most people consume so much tomato sauce. Do you know what I mean? It's not like it's like, this is a truly unforgettable bite of food because it's yeah. so unique. It's like, I'm it's never like, gonna forget this frozen meal tomato oh, what sauce. What a life you lead, if that's the truth. I don't know, you know? On your deathbed, there's like, you get one last meal. It's like, if only I could have that frozen pasta meal. Not the meal, just the sauce. No, sauce. Mm. Just the sauce. I don't mind it, though. I do think it's, that's nice, yeah, I guess. I like it's it. like, it's, 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 I, it's un inoffensive, if not unforgettable. Yeah. Just needs a whole ball of burrata. Yes. <laughs> that is what I want most of the time. We had we, that. We did we that. We did that. that. We're we moving that. on to this. More, more Taste of Italy. Core of Italy. Chicken, no, Parmesan basil chicken. <laughs> chicken. Chicken. This um, one has, ooh, the exciting addition of zucchini. Huh. It's chi oh, this is, stinks a little bit. Chicken breast strips in a Parmesan sauce with broccoli and zucchini. I can tell you what I already am gonna want with this is pasta. <laughs> pasta. <laughs> it's got 34 grams of protein in it. That's a lot. I don't want to be rude, but I'm like, you guys got to be eating rice. You know what I mean? Like, Put something down. It, it's not, there's no gluten in it. There's no, like, if you're just calorie scared of rice, please find your way out. Stop. Go back to eating rice. Can't just have chicken. It's like watery Alfredo sauce with like a bunch of frozen broccoli that's like overcooked. Yeah, it's a bit confusing. Um, it kind of tastes like something you might get on a plane. Sure. I just don't want this anymore. I don't want a bowl that has so much liquid in it and then like random things in the liquid. Like, you know? You already, like, the problem is it's already going to be wet because it's a microwave meal. So you already are gonna get that like sweat around it. The extra wet that's in there, it's just, it's too loose of a sauce, but I don't, I don't, I don't well, know what I want. Spaghetti squash or something. Like put, zoodles, like, make them zoodles instead. I feel like Spaghetti the zoodles will disintegrate. Everything is just gonna, everything. I don't know. You need starch, man. Rice. I'll put a, a potato in A dairy-free mashed potato, like is, come I was on. gonna say, this isn't like that, like, traditional or anything. Go ahead and put a potato in it. <sighs> okay, moving on, we're back into the meats. More meat. More meat. Who's she? Oh wow, some of these are quite saucy. Ooh. Cilantro lime chicken. Chicken breast strips with a bright chimichurri sauce. More chimichurri. More chimichurri. Wonder if it's the same as the other one. Looks it. Yeah, I gotta investigate my chimichurris because maybe this is a different type of chimichurri. I mean, it kind of just tastes like a salsa verde. 
<laughs> it tastes exactly like a salsa verde. Okay. The chicken here is much, much mm. moister than the chicken we have experienced so far. Mm -hmm. This is the best chicken we have had, mm -hmm. and I like it in the sauce, and again, I want to put this in like a burrito bowl. Good. Good! <laughs> End of video. It's so moist. It's so much more moist than it the other stuff. It actually tastes sous vide. Good what job. I want this one. Okay, the saucy gravy boy. I just like don't ever think about gravy, but for some reason this Ugh, job has made I me think about gravy all the, the time. the world's greatest gravy the other day, and I was, I'm like, I'm more proud of making that than sometimes my children. Okay, <laughs> like, once again, I'll say, why didn't, didn't you tell you. me? <laughs> why didn't you text me? I, I am surprised I didn't because I think I did tell most people. Like, why? I was like, you I made this chicken. It was so good. Um, I wrote, it was like, literally just like, it was a BBC recipe chicken on some like diced up vegetables and stuff. And then you take the chicken out, you add, I added dashi instead of chicken Yum. broth. And you scrape it off feeling like a pan sauce and it reduced into the this like beautiful, like woodsy color, like like chestnut. And it was so thick and it was like, uh, uh, it, it was so good. And for the people at home who don't know, dashi is like a fish stock? Yes, uh, made with like bonito and um, uh, seaweed. Yeah. Yum. Yeah, that I used so instant good. dashi too. I've got a little, little you shaker have brought some of to it. Work and I'm feeling mad at I'm you. Sorry, I did have some left over. <sighs> this is roasted garlic chicken. It's not in my gravy. This gravy looks good. It's a cream though. sauce. It's in a vibrant cream sauce. You know what sauce. I'll say? Actually, I might be disappointed because this looks so much like gravy, and it's, it's a gravy. It's cream, cream sauce. sauce. <gasps> and now I have to take a moment. I, know, I want too. it to be white gravy. Unless it is this color because of the ro no no okay. This oh, tastes no. like paleo food. No! I'll take a smaller bite then. <laughs> I'm really gonna go to town on this bad boy. It tastes like weird diet food. The sauce tastes like it's made with paste. It's just so many pastes. It's got coconut, oh, it's the coconut. The coconut's making it weird. Don't put coconut where it's not necessary. Do, this is my thing. I'm like, work with stuff. Don't work against it. Making a creamy Italian style sauce with coconut. What are you doing? That's working against, in my opinion. I'm like, why? Like, you think I'm not gonna detect it? You think I'm not gonna notice it? <laughs> I know what coconut tastes like. This is the chicken marsala. I got scared that it was that it was masala for some reason, but it's not. It, I was about to marsala. say I always feel disappointed because I will see that and I'm like I know. chicken masala. What like what come no. what's going on there? And then it's marsala and I'm like oh. I do like marsala sauce. I like the savory mushroominess of it. This one has like interesting little like chunks of dark. <laughs> it's it's weird how they have served the chicken. You don't enjoy this. Well, okay, hold on. It looks like it's got dates in it. It does not. What's the sweetener? There's a weird off Coconut off sugar. Coconut sugar? Coconut sugar. Wait, let me see. And coconut that. milk. Why would you put- Stop it! This doesn't even have cream you in it. You don't need it. Does Marsala sauce normally have cream in Absolutely it? Absolutely it does not. It's just reduced. Why did you do that? Why would you put coconut sugar? Coconut sugar is the same as normal sugar, is, is it not? Is the owner of Kevin's like a coconut, a coconut? magnet? <laughs> a coconut? Is he a coconut? Eat me. <laughs> I'm just like, why would you do that? There's not less sugar in coconut sugar than normal sugar. Okay. Oh so God, this I broke, is, I'm sorry. This is one I have been wanting to try. This is the Kevin's, I keep saying it, it's all Kevin's. <laughs> this is chicken tikka masala, masala. Um, I, one of the moms uses this often, so I don't, I've heard about it, that's all. It's an easy dinner. Coconut. Not even. What is the, there is a sweet, it is, is it so What's sweet. It tastes fruity. It tastes like somebody dunked some wine in here and reduced it. Coconut butter, coconut milk. Coconut, coconut, coconut. Coconut sugar. This I'm was brought like, to you by the Kamala Harris meme. Yeah, I'm just like, leave it alone. It. It's Leave just, it alone. It's a thing that exists. Oh, it's the tomato, I think. Whatever tomato situation they use is what makes it taste weird. I don't know. To me, it really, it's just tomato paste. Hmm. Coconut nectar. 
I, this is a new form of coconut. Why would I, you put that? Why would this? There's no coconut in this normally. And I'll tell you what, I've used coconut as a dairy substitute and it can be great. Yeah, oh, it can be. Why does this have 40 different types of coconut in it? That's not what tikka, this person has never had chicken tikka masala. No. And they owe all of India an apology. Kevin. 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 Moving on to this bowl. Didn't come with that bowl. It got poured into a bowl. This is the chicken piccata, but guess what? It's cauliflower. It's got pasta. coconut in it. It's got, but, but with coconut. It says it's in a lemon, a vibrant lemon caper sauce. It's got more of that disappearing. Okay, there is this chunk of chicken like, in what here. Is if that? you're serving it as a pasta, like cut up your chicken. I like the amount of um, capers. I love capers. I would pour a whole jar of capers in here. Yeah, capers are so good. I was so proud when my oldest son started just snacking on them. That's nice. True kids. Your kids are cute. Mm -hmm. Whoa! Is it possible to want more pasta to like sop that up? They give you a lot of sauce. That's a lot of sauce. And, I'm, and it is tart, 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 tart. I mean, I'm a, I'm a sauce person. Everybody knows that. We all know that. We all know. If there's one truth in the world, it, I, guess what it has in it? Coconut sugar. Yeah, of course it does. And, and milk. Okay. The classic piccata sauce. Coconut milk, capers, chicken fat, Chablis. <laughs> there's just no reason for the coconut milk. I really, I think this is... I think it is a conspiracy theory. He's trying to offload some coconut. He's he got really his garage. Is, yeah. I, would, I, I would eat this. I think it tastes good. I would put a ton of cheese on it. Yeah. And I would eat it. And I would like sop up that sauce because there's a ton of sauce and I do appreciate that. Yeah, you need a whole loaf of bread. You just have to be, again, you have to be prepared. You have to think this isn't piccata. This is coconut and capers. And maybe that's okay. I'm not getting as much coconut as the other ones. No, I think but the sauce like is a nice weird and bright. Offness. It is a little. It's different. Very bright. She's different. I, I commend them on the amount of acidity they managed to get into a frozen thing. And I don't Man, mind the, the pasta. The pasta is better done. No, no, this I is just better. I don't mind the pasta. This I actually like was able to chew before it like disintegrated. The other one I couldn't. I couldn't even get a tooth around. But this one, good. The chicken is nice and soft. <gasps> I had a thought. What was it? Hmm, no way to know. How many people does this feed? Four? Is that the no. That serves four no, people. That's a, that's maybe a side dish. Four? This is the bowl I would use for a serving of pasta for myself. Yeah, because you've got places to be and things to do. Yeah, my body needs to function. I'm not living in some kind of chamber where I don't walk I don't, or I don't, talk. I don't trust serving sizes. So. It's just, it, it's like, what? It's like, what? Oh, this one at least calls it out. Beef stroganoff with coconut milk and cauliflower pasta. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Let me ask you this. It's a paleo-friendly stroganoff sauce. That is, uh, how many, what is this, four? Yeah. This could maybe be two. At most. Yeah. Yeah. Why, it, to me, feels like cheating to say, oh, this is 230 calories. Right. And it's like, you can eat, you didn't eat none of it. it. Yeah, I'm like, you can go to In N Out Burger and have 230 calories yeah, if you like take, take two bites bite of it, you're good. which is like not much more than you're getting. So I'm confused. I'm confused. It's a little no? cold. No. Okay. Just be careful. Not careful. <laughs> be careful. Be safe. Be careful. Yeah. <laughs> Don't freeze your mouth on it. Thank you, mommy. Um, I think the flavor is actually not bad. I think it's okay. Yeah. I think the mushroom. I think the mushroom covers up the coconut. Yeah. Now I will. I'm still getting a little something weird. Some of that beef is still a little pink. You don't say anything about that. Pink beef. And usually I would say, yay, pink beef. But in a frozen meal, this might. I'm not gonna eat the pink stuff. I'll eat that one. Chewy. I like the noodles. We're saying hi to Stevie. Stevie. But you can come in. Sure. Stevie's here. Stevie's here. Hi, how are you? Good to see you. We're eating all of Kevin's meals. We're eating all of Kevin's meals. They put oh. coconut milk in everything. Oh, is it good? Some of it. Um, okay, I buy their barbacoa a lot. Oh, okay, we're not there yet. We don't, yeah, is that coming? Might be. Might be. We'll find out. Yeah, we might be. 
Okay. Do you like it? I do. There okay. You go. I mean, like, I prefer Chipotle, but you can't have Kevin. So, if sure. you can't, you have Kevin's barbacoa. And that's wow. what's written on the box. Yeah. <laughs> when you can't, you have Kevin's. Yeah. All right. See you Bye. All right. I like the, I think the cauliflower pasta in this case, which is trying to emulate egg noodles, is better because yes. it's thicker, it's more toothsome. She's right. Um, yeah, I think this one, it could be, um, I think it could be something. Yeah, the meat's tough, but it's not terrible. I think, it, I think it's got capabilities. Capabilities? Potential. Okay. <laughs> I was about to say, capabilities. capabilities That's not the one with no, capers in it. Any. Are we done? I guess we're done. I guess yeah. that's everything we have. That's it. Okay, wow. which one Which one would you get again? The curry. Mm -hmm. The curry. End of sentence. The curry. The curry. Because it is supposed to have coconut milk in it, so it makes sense that it has coconut milk okay. in it. Okay. I'm, I'm saying the cilantro lime chicken. Oh yeah, I, I'd have that one too. Right? No. Yeah. Is that the one we like? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'd have that one too. Yeah. I agree. I think, listen, I respect what Kevin's trying to do, okay? It says that he, when he was in his 20s, an autoimmune disorder threw his oh, life off balance. Kevin, I'm sorry. No, it's fine. I also have an autoimmune disease. Oh, Jen, and I'm sorry. That's what I'm looking for. No, this is this is my gripe. I get it. It's rough. I have an autoimmune disease. My fiance has an autoimmune disease. She has lupus. I just need there to be less coconut milk. I need there to not be things put in things where the things don't belong. And I also need better portions because having an autoimmune disease is already hard. Yeah, it's the like the food is so bad and there's so little of it. That it argument. Yeah, yeah that I, I need there to be more. That being said, the stuff the stuff that I liked, I liked. I liked this. Yeah, that was good. I, I liked that, this. I, I definitely put that. I thought in the, the chicken burrito. burrito bowl was fine. Like the piccata, the, the chicken piccata was kind of cool. Was fine. Some of the cauliflower was noodles good. were cool. Yeah. I just think I need like a little yeah. more, you know? But I I feel like Kevin could do it if he wanted to. Kevin could if Kevin wanted to. I believe in Kevin, and I think that we could maybe get a little more food. Kevin, do you want to partner with us? Yeah. <laughs> Justine and I will show you how to put a little more food in a container. Okay, Jordan, it's time for the big reveal. How many pounds did you? I'm Kevin, no. <laughs> um, okay, I um, leg pressed yesterday 310 rounds for all of my reps. I did three reps of 10, 310 pounds. That's I said, lot. I did it and I completely earnestly went, oh my gosh, twice my body weight. And my trainer went, well, <laughs> almost. And yeah, that's my thing. I'm very strong. A lot of people don't know that. I'm very strong. I swam, um, I think, I think maybe like six laps of butterfly. That's incredible. I have a bunch of laps of other things. That's incredible. I did some sprints and it was fun. Sprints? On the ground? No, of swimming. Oh. Swim fast. Oh. And I looked up at the crowd Wait. to be like, did I impress you? Two things. Swim fast again? Swim fast. Okay. <laughs> Got it. It's right here. Yeah. Um, like a fish. And then there was a crowd watching you? Well, there was like a group of people watching other people in the pool, maybe children, but I was like, I'm going to give them a show. I what love if I that. swim butterfly really fast? And I do have like little things that go through my head that I want someday somebody to like tap me and be like, hey, did you used to swim? And then I think about that while I swim, and that's about all I think about. Yeah, I understand I that. I try not to sing the like Spidey and Friends songs over and over in my head. Sure, that's how I feel when I'm like at the club and I'm dancing, oh, I'd be like, or something, and I'm like, I want someone to come to me and be like, dancer? You, you, sorry, I don't. Sorry to interrupt what you were doing. You're an unbelievable <laughs> dancer. Do people tell you that? Did you, did you that's know? That's what I want to hear. And I want to be like me. Do you know you're a natural? But I do know I am a natural dancer. There you go. There you go. And not, Justine's a natural swimmer. It does kind of sound like you accidentally joined some kind of children's swim meet that you didn't realize was going on. Is Look what it sounds like. Yeah. <laughs> and they were like, whatever, that lane's empty, just let that lady do it. <laughs> um, all right, we're done. Bye! Like, comment, subscribe. Go to the website. <laughs>